ask what constraints-based learning is, so I thought I'd make a video about it. Development of contemporary motor learning theory, specifically ecological dynamics, led to the birth of the contemporary coaching method constraints-based learning. Ecological psychology is the first part of the puzzle. In 1979, James Gibson released a book about his ecological model of visual perception. The way an organism perceives an environment is key to how it acts in it. He discussed it in terms of affordances, which are opportunities for action available to organisms within the environment. He gave an example of how a water strata would perceive a glass of water differently to that of a human. Where a human would drink the body of water, a water strata would walk across it. He also has a quote, it is the size of the cup relative to the size of the hand that makes it graspable. The next bit is dynamical systems. Dynamical systems is the mass behind it and it looks at how systems interact. The key thing to know is that it's non-linear. There isn't a linear interaction between systems or linear development. Everything works in a non-linear fashion. Add these together and we have ecological dynamics, which is the which is what underpins constraints-based learning. The key thing to understand is that the way a person perceives will determine how a person acts. The constraints on our perception and therefore action are broken into three areas. The first being the environment, which could refer to weather, such as wind, rain, snow, humidity. Playing surface, where we could have sand, grass, clay, hard or soft, or something like a slope, which could go up or down. The second is the individual. Each individual has a unique set of constraints, whether that be physical attributes, such as height, weight, or limb length, or mental attributes, such as experience, personality, or confidence. The third constraint is the task. Within the game that we are playing, we can change the rules, the number of players, the size of the field, for example, the time that the game goes for, or maybe we could change the number of goals available for players to score in. The combination of individual, environmental and task constraints create emergent behaviours. Rather than teaching explicitly, telling people how to do an action, individuals learn implicitly and produce actions through their own perception and experience.